Now I know you put the Let's Search for Wi-Fi game too. I mean, not all netbooks have SIM card slots and not everyone has a 3G dongle. So if you're willing to take the time to do a little bit of research, you can probably find a little patio like this one with a fountain. It's a really nice place to do some work. So here are some sites to help you find your little piece of paradise in the city. The first site we're going to look at is G-Wire. I like this one because it is available in 140 different countries. Um, you can actually search by continent and geography by map. If you click on one of the continents, it takes you to a map and you can kind of search around there. What I really like about this is you can search advanced. Now, it's available in the U.S. and Europe, got really great coverage. Uh, I guess my little test is Taiwan because sites in English for searching for re free Wi-Fi are kind of challenging sometimes. So, Taiwan, Taipei, click free and search away for list. Uh, now, there's only four free sites available, which isn't that great, but if you search both, uh, you'll see there's thousands and thousands and thousands. Uh, it's a great way to figure out who the big Wi-Fi providers are wherever you go. Now, let's just take New York as an example, search free, and see what a regular city would look like for free Wi-Fi. Now, if you search both, the entire thing is just blanketed, but we're interested in free. On the list is freehotspot.com. I really like this one for Europe. It is really, really strong with the amount of free sites you can find there. So let's search uh, Toulouse, France. See what comes up there. And there we go. Nice little Google Maps there. Pretty interactive. You can search, get directions. Pretty easy to use. Now next up We've got open Wi-Fi spots. I really like this one for the States. It's got great search functionality for different types of uh, Wi-Fi locations. Now, I, I chose uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. I was there on business not too long ago. Uh, lots happening there, very fun, I guess. <laughs> what I like about this is uh, as you scroll down the list, the map stays with you, so that's quite good. Now. You can search by, say, park or library or airport. So I chose park. And then it'll take you to the city center park and give you a rating of their Wi-Fi. Very handy. Wi-Fi free spots. This one isn't as pretty as some of the rest, but it's incredibly functional and very useful. Uh, no maps. But see, what's handy here is you can search by hotel motel. So if you're planning a road trip, it gives you a good idea of which hotels to look out for while you're on the road or where to book. It also helps you pick RVs and uh, libraries and it's just a great source of information in general about how to pick up free Wi-Fi. This is a strong site for the states as we can see. And like I said, the real test for me tends to come with Asia because English language sites about finding this kind of stuff are generally a bit harder. The searchability on this site isn't quite as great as you can see, you're just scrolling by list. There's no maps. But what it does do is it gives you a good idea of who the chains are that provide free Wi-Fi. This is really handy when you don't have, say, a Wi-Fi connection and you're just out wandering. And then you see a, for example, a Mr. Brown's Coffee here in Taipei. This is actually where I got the idea that all Mr. Brown's had free Wi-Fi. So very useful. All for the price of a coffee. A couple times a week after the sun goes down and it's not as brutally hot here in Taipei, I come down here and sit by this fountain and do some work. Now, the question on your mind must be, you need to be online in order to figure out where to get free Wi-Fi. Good question. Check out my next show about finding free Wi-Fi without Wi-Fi. I'm Nicole Scott for Netflix News.